Big up, big up, big up. Bless my viewers, welcome back to the channel. So right now, quick and fast, woman attack by other female returns with a firearm firing boyfriend. 39 year old, Nigel, naughty, a cook and a construction worker of Grasquit, Glodes, Goldburn, Gardens, Kingston 11 was arrested and charged with illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition assault at common law and discharging a firearm within 40 yards of a public theater. Reports are that about 7.20 p.m. on Thursday, two females and the girlfriend of the accused had a dispute when the girlfriend left shortly after the man returned with a firearm with a handgun came to the location and fired several shots before escaping in the area. He later attended the Onsby police station and was accosted and police into police custody at the Duane Park police station. He was subsequently charged following a question and answer session. His court date is being finalized. Men trying to escape from cops held gun seized in Central Village. One firearm and several rounds of ammunition were seized in Windsor Heights, Central Village, in St. Catherine on Friday, May the 13th. Reports from Central Village Police at, the, at about 4 p.m., lawmen were on patrol in the area when a group of men was seen acting in a manner that aroused their suspicion. Upon approaching the police, the men ran into different direction. They were accosted and searched and one 9mm pistol with a magazine affitted containing 11 9mm rounds was taken from one of them. He was arrested, however, his identity is being withheld pending further investigation. Finance Ministry employee charged with corruption. The Minister of Finance and Public Service has advised that a member of its staff was earlier this week arrested and charged with engaging in corruption activities. In a release on Friday, the ministry said on Monday, May the 9th, a member of its staff was arrested and later charged by the major organized crime and anti-corruption agency, MOCA, with the offense of corruption. The soliciting and accepting funds from a member of the public. The release said the allegation related to the facilitating the fast tracking of a motor vehicle duty approve process within the ministry. The release further said that the staff member was offered bail and is to appear in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on May the 20 for to answer the charges of corruption. Two year old gone missing from Rastakana in Clarendon. A high, high level alert has been activated for a two year old Jamil Mendez of Rastakana, Freetown, Clarendon, who has been missing since Thursday, May the 12th. He is of brown complexion, slim build, and about 76 centimeters, two and a half feet tall. Reports from the Longville Park Police are that about 5 p.m. Jahil was seen at home dressed in a yellow t-shirt, grey shorts, and a blue navy slippers. He has not been found since. Anyone knowing the whereabouts? of Mr. Little Mendez is being asked to contact the Longville police at 876-902-5047. The police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station to you. There is a 28.2 positive rate, 276 new cases, 4 death, 
recorded. Jamaica has recorded 276 new cases over a 24-hour period up to Thursday afternoon. Four deaths that occurred from April to November of last year were also recorded on Thursday, bringing the overall virus death toll in Jamaica to 2,995. An 86-year-old woman from St. Catherine is among the latest recorded fatalities nationwide. There were 65 recoveries on the day, bringing that tally to 84,803. The newly confirmed case brought to the total number of record cases on the island to 131,980. Note the island recorded a 28.2% COVID positive rate based on samples that were tested on Thursday. Of the newly confirmed case, 168 are female and 108 are male, with age ranging from 10 months to 89 years. The case count was made up of St. James, 58, Kingston and St. Andrew, 41, St. Anne, 34, Trelawney, 24, St. Catherine, 22, St. Catherine again, 22, mistake, Westmoreland 20, Manchester 17, Carinan 15, and over 10, St. Mary's 6, St. Thomas 4, Portland 3. There are 9 mandarly ill patients, 2 severely ill patients among, 2 critical ill patients among 1,670 active cases now under observation in Jamaica. There are 65 patients now hospitalized locally. So viewers, the thing, thing get... I get a way out there, so I have to just continue to mask up on yourself and sanitize them. Look at the thing there. Why workers of Jamaica cash cow are protests? Another day, another protest in Jamaica over compensation. This time is more than half of the workers at the National Housing Trust NHT who walk off their job on Friday calling for a job evaluation that was done to be implemented as they seek all the necessary in regards to the improvement in their take-home pay. In outlining the issue, they have been grouped in with workers of labelled at the NHT as the cash cow of the nation and have called on the Prime Minister Andrew Owens of Finance and Public Service, Dr. Nigel Clark, to show some compensation because they have genuine needs Watch as the workers call for money. They are the third group to walk off their job this week. The others being the air traffic controllers and National Water Commission. Some of you want to know if you continue to like, share and subscribe. Bless up top.